I did the Jimmy Butler trade for possibly being trade. You know, I did the Bulls trade a long time ago on the Bulls if you don't remember. You know what, man? I gotta break this whole process down. I feel like I have to break this down. Starting all the way. We're going way back. We're gonna start from 2008 to right now. 2008 to right now. I'll be explaining to you guys what is going on with this team. I don't know what's going on with this team, how we can improve, I think. See who we need to get rid of and all of that. But let me break this down for you guys. This might be a long video, so this might be two parts. So if this is part one, then the other part might be uploaded tomorrow. All right, because no school tomorrow, and yeah. Anyway, I've been watching the Bulls since 2007. I've been watching this team, ups and downs, injuries, all of that. Been through all of that. I'm a diehard Bulls fan. I'll always be a Bulls fan. I'll never switch up being a bandwagon fan of any other team. I'm not. I don't like go to stay. I don't like Cleveland. I don't like the Bulls. Well, I don't say I like. You know what, man? I don't. Right now, I don't like them. And the Bulls are just playing like. <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll get to that when we get to that. But yeah, I've been watching the Bulls since 2007. And I want to start off. Let's. Go to the 2008 2009 NBA season with the Bulls. Alright? So, they finished 41 and 41 in the East. They were seventh, seventh in the conference, second in the Central Division. Let's fast forward to the first round of the playoffs. So, let's go out a year. 2009, the playoffs. Because they were in the playoffs. Our opponent was the Boston Celtics. Now, the, the Celtics had a star set of team, as you guys think. You know, they just stayed stay the defending champs, you know. They had Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, Ray Allen, a good Rondo. Not this Rondo, a good Rondo. Who else they had? Eddie House. Perkins, uh, who else they had? Yeah, some other people. I, I'm not into that, you know. But yeah, do you know why I fast forward to the playoffs of the Boston Celtics versus the Bulls? Do you know why? <laughs> Cause this whole series is arguably one of the best series you've ever seen in the playoffs. The best series you ever seen. Because three, three of the games went to overtime. One went to overtime. Another one went into double overtime. And one more went to this triple overtime. Now, I remember watching this triple overtime game. I'm downstairs. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, what is going on? Um... Buddy shot in our goal. We getting shots on. Everybody's playing. Everybody's playing hard. Both teams. You don't know who's gonna win. Back and forth, back and forth. I mean, we all remember Kurt versus Rondo. Second overtime. Seven defended by Allen. Great 
recognition by Ray Allen. Looked like Salmon's had an open three. This isn't right here. Wow. <laughs> toe-to-toe -to -toe with the second seed. I forgot to tell y'all that. The second seed. And we're the seventh. Nobody. Nobody. Bulls haven't been relevant. At that point, Bulls haven't been relevant anymore, really. Since Michael Jordan left. But yeah, we lost with seven, but I saw progress. Because you know we had on that team? Let me just name some of the players we had on that team. Luol Deng. Ben freaking Gordon. Mm. Ben Gordon. Kurt Heinrich. Brad Miller. A good Joakim Noah. John Salmons. Freaking Tyrus Thomas. Tyrus Thomas. And a rookie Derrick Rose. A rookie Derrick Rose. Now everybody's playing good. You know, Ben Gordon is basically doing his thing. Dang's doing his thing. D Rose, you know, he's just. He's learning, you know, he's getting his stuff done, he's learning. Noah being Noah's intensity and all of that. You know he got the intensity. Kurt being Kurt, Captain Kurt. You know. Yeah, but game six, he can go back and watch it. Game six, 2009, playoffs, Boston versus Bulls, triple overtime, that game was crazy. I sat there and watched that whole game. Game six was one of the Best games I've ever seen. The Bulls play. A triple overtime win. And we won that game. Three to three. I'm like, oh shoot, we might win. Oh no. Nah. nah. But I felt confident going into next season. So, speaking of next season, the 2009 and 2010 season. The Bulls, once again, are 41 and 41. They are the eighth in the conference basically we have the same team but just a few changes you know just a little few changes you know Derrick Rose stepping up since Ben Gordon left you know Noah's defense and intensity once again you know Luol Dang playing good you know contributing to the team Dang Rose Noah Heinrich Miller Salmons you know basically but you know that season, you know, went to the playoffs. We lost to LeBron and the Cavs, four to one. Uh, you know, this season, you know, once again, yeah, we were just there. You know, not really big pieces, but you know, we were just there. You know, oh man, now to the next few seasons. 
when we start playing, when we start caring, we start acting like we can play. This season, we stepped up. The 2010-2011 season was supposed to be our year. Any Bulls fan can relate, 2010-2011 Bulls was supposed to win. They were supposed to win it all this year. Derrick Rose is going to take us to the promised land in so long. Oh my gosh, he was going to take us there. We had Omar Seek, Keith Bogans, the Bruise, Bruise, the Bruise Cruz, Carlos Boozer, Ronnie Brewer, Dang, Gibson, Kyle Corver, Hot Sauce. We, we made that, man. Corver, Noah, CJ Watson, D Rose, playing on his mind. He's coming, he's coming up, he's coming up. And of course, you have to go, Brian Scalabrine. Like, come on. Like, we should have won it all. But you know what? Man. And we had a new coach. I forgot. We didn't have Vinny Dal Negro as our coach no more. We had Tom Thibodeau. That was the era of Tom Thibodeau. You know, he came in. You already know he plays aggressive. He's not a calm coach, not a relaxed coach. Always want he, he wants to win. Basically, he wants to win. He'll play his guys out there for 45 minutes a game. 40, 45 minutes a game and be good. Like, man. Noah keeps getting better and better. He's always striving. Up. Oh, I can't forget. I can't forget. <laughs> Derrick Rose was MVP. He was MVP of the league. 2010 and 11 season. Like... That this was our year. Like, I don't know how we just lost like that. We're at number one seed. Number one seed. We're in the playoffs. We beat Indiana. Next round. We beat Atlanta. Bam. Next round. We faced against LeBron and the Miami Heat. That's when he went to Miami and then boom. He just. Yeah, the refs and that game was just all over the place. But oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's take it to positives. Todd Gibson had two beautiful dunks. Big three just had to. They just had to. And the refs. Can't forget about the refs. Oh my gosh. The refs are always in LeBron's corner, man. Always in LeBron's corner. Well, yeah, we lost in five. It was sad. But you know what? We was like, you know what? Let's bounce back. Let's bounce back. And let's show everybody that we still got it. Man, so the road to redemption 